Hi guys, welcome to this video. This video is an, an introduction to Abacus modules. We chose uh, badge forming as a simple, very very simple test, which also contain modeling in assembly module and contact module. Hydrostatic badge forming is a test that is used to characterize metals by applying pressure to one side of the top and keeping the sheet in dice, the pressure will form the metal into a shape of a dome. And after a while, we have a dome shaped part. To model hydrostatic bulk forming, we assume the problem as an asymmetric problem. You can see that by revolving a section of this problem, we can produce the whole problem. And to model an asymmetric problem, we usually draw one half of the section. Now let us to continue with modeling this hydrostatic part test in Abacus environment. When we open the software, we see this window and we will want to start with Abacus standard or explicit modeling. Then we choose this button and we can see modules of the software. We have part module, property module, assembly, step interaction, load, mesh, and job, which usually use them. And we will explain all of this module in this simple example. We we'll start with the part module. Part module is a module that we could use it to create two-dimensional and three-dimensional parts, which are simple parts or moderately complex parts. I suggest that for very complex part, use the option of file import and import your stp or other type of parts to this module but you can use features of this module to create two-dimensional and three-dimensional parts it also contains a, a sketcher you can see in continue that you can create your sketch and then convert it to 3d parts in part module, we should create two parts of this example, including blank and die. By create part, we start to create a new part. At the first step, we should choose a appropriate, an appropriate name for the part. I start with the die and the name of die. Then we should choose the space of modeling which is axisymmetric for this problem. After that, the type of the part should be defined. As die has no deformation, the die is rigid and we prefer to do our analysis by analytical rigid. In the next step, we can choose among features that can be applied in this environment but but in axisymmetric environment and analytical rigid the only available feature is wire in the next step we should enter an approximate size for a, a sketcher environment that we could um, draw our modeling and approximately 200 millimeters is okay for us Now we can create die. To create die, I start with, with create line. The radius was 50 millimeters. And uh, we apply a bigger radius, more than blank radius here for example 
60 mm and we apply the fillet, the fillet of the die which was 5 mm. 5 mm. Then we can finish drawing the die and we have an axisymmetric die here. One important thing about rigid parts is that they need a reference point. These points show a reference for their sixth degree of freedom of rigid motion. For this, we can use tool, reference point, and choose a point of the die, which here we can choose every point that we want because this die have no translation or rotation. After that the die is complete and we create another part blank choose the name after choosing the name type of blank is deformable and we want to draw a shell not a wire or points and by this approximate size continue to create the blank part we we'll start with creating a rectangle a rectangle from point 0, 0 to point 55 mm and 1 mm then exit the sketcher and the blank is completed the next module of Alakil software is property. In this module, we can create material and then create section for, for uh, something like shell and beams. For sections rather than material, we can uh, add some specification of sections like thickness to the material and then assign the defined sections to materials. For this example, at first we create material for blank, create material, and choose a name for it, still, and then to define elastic properties, as you know, we use mechanical elasticity, elastic. Uh, here we should enter Young modulus. Um, the unit of Young modulus depends on the unit system that we chosen before uh, we chose uh, SI unit with millimeter therefore we should use megapascal here and for a still is 2e5 and we also enter Poisson ratio then we enter plasticity plastic property of the material contains yellow stress and plastic strain yellow stress of this type of steel is 300 at the plastic strain of 0 and we assume a linear behavior until the UTS which is at uh, 0 0.5 plastic strain this is a bilinear behavior for steel and then we create a section we can choose a name and the section is solid continue we choose the material and then we assign the section to the part the section of steel is assigned to this part Please note that after assignment of material to the part, the color will change. The change of color could show to us that which part is assigned the material and which is not. We also could customize the type of color ourselves. For the dye part, uh, it's not need to define 
any kind of property or section and because this part is totally fixed we don't have even any mass or inertia to assign to this part uh, here the property module is also completed uh, please uh, track us in the next video for other module of Abacus and continuing this problem see you in next video